<clears throat> hey, so this is stuff I've never done before. Just gone live. Um, I mean, I've done live, but I've set it up. So, but I've never went just impromptu live. Let's put it that way. But as you can see right here, beans, my almost 11 week old Havanese puppy, which I just got a few days ago, um, has kept me. I haven't been able to go to my, I, I work off of a iMac in my bedroom and I haven't been able to go there since I brought him home. Um, and so I'm using my, my laptop here. And so this is without editing. You know, if you see my videos, they're, they're, they're hugely edited and they're, uh, um, lots of special effects, things like that. Lots of information that scrolls across the screen. Um, and I've taken tons and tons of videos of our trip to Arizona to go get beans. Um, my daughter and I went out there to get them. And then our, my experience, and the reason that, uh, and those of you that know me from the Divorce Dad series, um, I wanted to, this is going to be a new series, and it's on just being a divorced dad and the importance of having a pet, but I don't, I don't like cats, so I'm not going to talk about cats. But I'm going to say specifically, uh, specifically dogs, but also having them in an apartment. So um, that's that's a, another huge thing. And I have carpet, and I, you know, want to keep my carpet as clean as possible. And you know, I just want to, I, I just like living in, in a clean space. If you know what I mean? Um, and so what I'm doing is, and I don't have experience as a dog owner. Um, I mean, not since I was a kid. So I've, I haven't had one as an adult and, and I've been single for 11 years and I finally, finally got as a, a emotional support animal because my apartment doesn't, um, doesn't allow, um, doesn't allow pets. And so I went with the have and eat. I'm not sure if you know about them. Hey buddy. Um, this is beans here or Mr. Beans. He has his own, uh, Instagram channel. Instagram channel. I don't know. I haven't gotten much sleep, so I, I can't be responsible for what I say. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, so, um, I don't even know what I'm talking about, but, uh, oh yeah. So what I, I wanted to do was to show in real time, a single, uh, uh, a single guy, especially, um, just, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mostly do it for, uh, divorced dads. Um, like I was saying, but my channel is, is in total is really about uh, spirituality and just looking at things from more, you know, a spiritual viewpoint. Um, and, but then I also, you know, I like to have fun and I, and I like to have fun and I do videos that are not just that. Um, I like to mix it up because uh, that's just the type of guy that I am. But anyhow, um, how, oh, I was telling you about having ease. Um, let's see if we can get this a little bit lower here. Cause I am not the, um, I'm not the focus here. Mr. Beans is. And so the Havanese, uh, they're originally from, uh, from Spain, but they're most famous. The reason they're called Havanese um, is because they're from uh, Havana. It's where they're, they're, mo they're most famous for. And, and um, in the 1950s, when a bunch of uh, wealthy people escaped from Cuba to the United States, um, they brought uh, 11 Havanese with them. And this dude and all the Havanese um, in America, they are all from, they, I guess they're inbred. <laughs> they're all from that the 11 original ones back from the 50s. So, um, but even with all that inbreeding, they're, they're known to be a very smart animal. Um, and no, I'm going to earmuffs beans. I, the jury's still out on beans on, on where his IQ is um, because of uh, – what he did this morning. And you know what you did. You're not supposed to shame the Havanese. They're very sensitive. Um, but uh, he did a, he did a naughty, naughty this morning. He did not go in his, in his potty tray. He decided to go. I let him have, I opened up the space in the kitchen and um, he took advantage of that. These guys, they will take advantage. And so um, right here, and then my videos are going to be on. You're going to see all the stuff I've gone through, getting up, doing the potty training in the middle of the night, um, and just how I set up the apartment so that it's not going to get destroyed. 
you know, by one of these guys. Um, and here, this is his playpen. And it started off just in this area here, but uh, I've opened it up and uh, you'll see in later videos. Now, as of yesterday, it now goes all rounds off into the kitchen. And I had one of those, um, those turf trays to um, the turf potty trays um, to obviously to potty train them on it. And it was right here. And uh, um, my former wife this morning suggested after uh, the poo incident in the kitchen that uh, I, um, I take it out of his pen and put it into the kitchen. And he's already done his business there. And I'm feeling a lot better because I'm not feeling that, you know, at any point um, he's going to run through where the potty tray was because I'm, I have all these, I'm, I'm pretty OCD on this stuff. So I have, I have all these wipes. I wipe down his paws. I wipe down his private parts after, depending on, on what he's done afterwards. And so, you know, the uh, avenues are very, very, spe very specific. So, I mean, I, I was going off a, um, a training manual called uh, Puppy Steps, uh, which was recommended by a Havanese uh, breeder and, the uh, um, but the Havanese they're very specific, and so uh, you can't just um, you can't yeah. I, and I apologize not just for not being able to speak, um, but also for my attire. This is basically my getting doggy stuff all over me on. Um, but uh, anyhow, the. Um, yeah, look at him. Look at this guy. You can't really see him. His eyes are so black, and he's so black. He does have white eyebrows, but you know you can't you can't really see. But this guy, he's super sweet. Um, so he gets away with murder, and uh, uh, and I just this morning, just minutes ago, um, my son, who's been been back home from college for the past five weeks, um, who was the one living with me. Um, just took off. So now it's Beans and I alone. And so uh, reality is about to set in. Um, well, not that my son was really helping me out at all, other than holding for 45 minutes why I um, did something I needed to do. I don't know. So I haven't even done a laundry yet. And I live in an apartment again. So I'm going to have to take these things down. These are really great. These these big ass potty pads. This is, I, I shouldn't say, they're not potty pads. But if you, they do have an accident, these are washable. They're not like the um, uh, the, the other pads. But uh, so I don't even know if I'm making any sense here. But, uh, oh, the reason I'm, I'm doing this uh, live is because, as I mentioned earlier, I haven't had a um, – haven't had any chance to do my videos. And, I'm, and I try to keep on a schedule of putting out one every three days or so. Um, and I've noticed that my, my viewing numbers have, have my average has dropped down a little bit since I haven't posted, um, in like a week and it looks like, um, it looks like it's nap time for him. And right here, I, let's just turn this around so you can see that's, it's crates. So I've been, uh, doing some, uh, the crate training. And the thing about the Havanese is like I said, they're very sensitive and they are not independent. They don't like being independent. Um, and I'm someone who, like I said, I've been single for 11 years. Um, I'm someone that really, I'm just, that's uh, being independent suits me a lot better. And so one thing about the Havanese you got to know is they're big whiners. I'm not a big fan of whiners. Um, and so I guess this is um, one of the things in spirituality or, uh, where I got my master's in uh, spiritual psychology, they always talk about is what is your soul seeking to, to teach you? And so in this situation, um, I guess it's about, um, I, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's getting ready, me ready for actually having a, uh, um, an adult relationship again. And so getting used to, um, I don't know. I don't really know the answer. Um, I got him because I wanted some companionship and I wanted a buddy to hang out with. And, uh, um, and I thought it'd be fun to, you know, to motivate. I mean, I go on walks every day where, um, but someone, you know, motivate me to do that. And, but here's the thing. They're not big walkers. They're not, 
um, and uh, they like their naps. I mean, puppies in general, they, they usually sleep like um, 20 to 22 hours a day. So that's not uncommon for his age. Um, but they say that having these are notoriously, um, notoriously lazy. Um, and I don't even know how much longer I'm going to stick on doing this because as I'm talking, I'm looking around, and I'm seeing all the different things that I bought from him. I spent a lot more money on him. I'm, my kids are actually getting jealous um, on how much time and effort that I've spent into getting him set up. And, you know, I, right here used to be the dining room table. I just moved that, moved that out of the way. Um, over here, this is his grooming table. So I watched this. Uh, uh, someone I've been following is uh, a gal uh, who breeds Havanese called Whittle, Whittle, W-I-T-T-L-E, Whittle Havanese. And so I've watched her videos on how to um, how to groom these dogs, and that's obviously a big thing. And one of the things is that the, their coats are very – they can easily get um, – uh, easily dry out. So th they're silky. They don't shed. That's why they're considered hypoallergenic. Um, but the lady who uh, was breeding the dog, she wore perfume and there was perfume on, on beans and as they, yeah, beans. And so the first night I, I washed them in the sink. Um, and of course they don't, most dogs don't like being washed and he did not care for that, but I have a pretty strong willpower and, and ego. And, uh, um, so I, uh, I did that and, you know, I'm excited to be able to cut his nails and do all those things that most people just want to, you know, send out to a groomer to do. But um, obviously it's very expensive. And, you know, me, if you do know me, I follow the, uh, the fire movement, which is financial, financially independent, uh, retire early. Um, and um, so it's, you know, looking for ways in which, you can cut corners without, um, you know, obviously with Havanese, these are expensive animals and they're very high maintenance. Um, so, but that, but, but I mean, I'm going to make it up other ways in terms, like I said, about doing my own grooming. And I mean, obviously this is a big COVID mess right now, but i had been cutting my hair since COVID started. I taught myself how to do that, or I watched a video on how to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna grab things here. This is his bucket of toys. And I mean, these are, they're pretty basic. So if you, so I'm going to think that, let's just say that I'm, that I'm talking to a, a single dad, a, a, a single, yeah, single dad would be a divorced dad. Um, oh yeah. Most important thing is about the uh, potty training schedule, um, is that you have to, um, and especially for toy dog breeds, puppies in general have small bladders, but these have very small bladders, which means basically, um, you know, like every two hours, um, they need to do their, um, expel their bladder. Um, and I wanted to, you know, crate train at night. Um, so, uh, but he's been great about that. You know, we, the first two nights, uh, it was like nine thirty ten that we and, and and you can't have them they have an ease um they gotta be careful about being around drafts and you want them on a raised um you, you know next so next you want them even with you on um next to your bed but you don't want them on your bed and dogs in general if you let them sit next to you on the sofa um or you from the get-go or let them sleep in your bed then you know it's the alpha dog thing and they're going to um feel like they're on equal terms with you and you're going to lose credibility so uh, so he sleeps right next to me but he's in a crate and he's on a uh, um uh a, like a side desk or something like that and i uh, and so and i made a lot of mistakes right off the bat even though i've been reading up and watching videos constantly on how to take care of puppies and have knees but is I, I shoved him in the crate and uh, I was, you know, it was kind of like the tough love and tough love does not work with these, with these animals um, in particular with the Havanese. So I got him to 
um, uh, yeah, so the first night, and, and oh, here's the thing. I didn't realize this because I, I was like, God, he's so quiet. And when I picked him up, there was another dog there, uh, one of his uh, siblings who went running up to me and was all over me. But Beans was laying under the sofa and just really chill. And I'm like, great. Um, sorry, my phone's going off here. Uh, maybe it's someone telling me that, uh, that maybe I need to do something here. Um, the, uh, so this, um, already sent. Uh, and so, uh, um, the, again, losing track. This is the thing. This is why I don't do these things live and, and also don't do them in very little sleep because, um, my videos, like I said, are highly edited. You know, they could be 45 minutes and they end up being 10 minutes after I do all the edits. Um, because I have a lot of, those of you that know me, I have a lot of information and I'm constantly learning new things. And so it's really which information most, if I try to give out my information to somebody else, it's just going to overwhelm them because it's just too much. Um, but the, oh yeah. So what I was saying is the first night, it was great. I mean, in, except I was reading this, uh, something online about training that to wake them up every two hours so they can, you know, take them out to, to do their business. And so because I live in an apartment and obviously I don't want to, um, you know, be going downstairs and, and on the second floor and, and going out to the street and it's just not safe. This is LA. And, uh, um, you know, it's basically poke a lot, the post apocalyptic, uh, world that we're living in out here in LA with, uh, um, homeless dumpster fires, lots of, lots of criminals. Um, but this isn't a political uh, essay that I'm going to do here, but I'm just saying why I don't do that. So out, out there, what you're going to see in my videos, once I get a chance to edit them, is out in the balcony, um, which I've never been out in the 11 years that I've lived in this apartment. Um, I put in a, uh, like a dog run. I mean, it's not, that it's not that long, but this guy's not that big. And I put down some turf and then I put some netting so it doesn't, you know, uh, you know, you know, go over the railings or anything like that. And then I, and then I put just in time, I put up a, uh, um, uh, like an overhang so that the, uh, um, so that, you know, all the elements would not get on him and stuff like that. And we just had a big rain, which, you know, I love the rain, um, but that, uh, you know, perfect timing. And then I have a, also out there, I have a, a potty, turf potty train tray for him. But guess what? So these, every two hours I wake him up and run him out to the back and never would he use it. And when I watched the video of, the, of uh, a lady doing with the Havanese, it was a Havanese female um, and the females are a lot more hyper than the males um, and they're a lot more difficult. Um, that was actually was, that's why I got a male. I was originally getting a female. Um, and when she ran her Havanese outside, I mean, she had a backyard it went out. I mean, it's the first time it took like 10 minutes to, to find a place to do its, do its, her business. Um, and then the next time, like two hours later, uh, it was like seconds and I was, you know, so, uh, uh, so I'm like, wait a second, what's, what's wrong with, with what's wrong with my dog? Okay. Why isn't he doing that? And, and um, and later figuring out my, um, my former wife's husband, we were talking the other day and he said, of probably the reason why he's not going outside is because that's a different tray. He hasn't, he hasn't marked that area. So why don't you take the tray that was here and put it out there? So I did that and guess what? That didn't work. Um, but, uh, I mean, thanks for the advice, but, um, you know, it just, Mr. Beans, he's a, he's a special sort of dude. And so anyway, I was getting up every two hours, um, to take him out. And so I, that's how everything started. So basically lost my mind then, but he was so chill. He didn't whine at all during the night. And I thought, you know, what's, uh, um, there's no, uh, there's no problem. Uh, you know, everyone who complains about puppies, oh, this is, this is nothing, you know, uh, next day. Oh, and what I found out was that it was, you know, his first day here. So he was filling things out. So he was, he was playing cool. He was hanging back. And then, he uh, and then he let me have it the next day once he felt comfortable. So I guess that's a good thing. That he feels comfortable enough to whine and stuff like that. And one of the things I read is 
that you should ignore them when they're when they're whining because obviously that's reinforcing you know bad behavior and uh, so you know that's worked to some degree um, and I think uh, I think we're good for now in terms of because you're gonna see all the videos once I edit them I just wanted to get out there and put something out and say that I mean I I, I do love I do love Mr. Beans um, he's a He's a great, like I said, sweet guy, and uh, uh, and he and he does like to watch TV. So that's 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 a good one. I was able, I'm able to do that. Have him sit on my lap and watch some TV. So the TV I've been missing because of doing my videos, I'm uh, making up for that by um, having him on my lap. And oh, here's something else. This dude, oh, he's like 35 bucks, but um, inside of his, go quietly. hear that it's a beating heart and there's also a like a heating pad i mean it that so when the dog goes up against it it heats up so this is supposed to make him feel comfortable and the beating of the mom's heart and the uh, um and the warmth but he's only um but he has not been treating well let's just say if this is his mom He's a mother beeper. That's all I have to say. So I'll just put that over there. Um, and I've become affiliate with uh, Chewy, Chewy.com. I also butt stock in them. Um, and uh, um, I mean, it's a great company, great quality company overall. But, uh, and that's something about between buying stuff off Amazon and buying stuff off of Chewy. Uh, some of the things you don't know what you're getting with Amazon, even though like, for example, there's a Burt's Bees um, shamp, dog shampoo. And I was reading about on Amazon, uh, they said that it was, it was watered down. And uh, um, the, uh, I'm getting a call in here. And uh, um, uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm making some awesome video here. Uh, <laughs> um, so that's what I said. Do not go live when you haven't gotten any sleep. Um, um, on a YouTube live. Um, so yeah, I was, I was, I was dismounting and, um, I can see how having a camera on just makes people well, makes makes I mean makes other people. I can see what people that do lives and they do live videos and they're on for hours and it's like because uh, uh, it feels like you're just talking to yourself and it's like it's like doing a daily diary. Well, I guess that's what vlogging is. Um, but oh yeah, I was telling you about Chewy.com. Is that? Um, uh, yeah, so I've I've gone with them so far, and I'm going to have, you know, talk about the products on my on my website, which of course could be attached to the uh, the, the YouTube videos. Um, but in short, um, we're like, let's say I picked him up on Tuesday. I brought him back. Oh, he was great in the car. It was a six hour drive, and um, he sat in the back for uh, like the first two hours. He was on on my daughter's lap in the front seat in a bag and he kept on trying to jump out. Um, and then the other four hours, he just sat next to her in the back seat and it was perfectly fine. And they say that they are not, they don't travel well, that have an do not, but he was, uh, um, yeah, he was great. He was great in the car. Uh, it was almost like it was a setup, you know, no whining, just chilling, you know, gets here, goes to sleep in the crate, nothing. So felt a little bit conned, but, uh, um, but that's one of the things that, that's one of the endearing parts of this breed is that they just make you fall in love with them. Look at that guy. <laughs> he's, he's just dropping more and more into this. This. Let's do this. Because you do not want to be looking at me. 
You want to say something? Can you see yourself? Yeah. You're liking that, huh? All right. Okay. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye. And thanks to the, or the one person. I don't know if that one person is me. Um, but I don't, I, don't, I don't blame you for, uh, uh, for walking away. But anyhow, um, just doing this so that you know I'm still alive. And I'm excited to be able to edit and show you just some of the things because I did videotape myself as I was going out in the middle of the night um, to the balcony to try to get him to go pee and then the different adventures that have happened. All right. As always, virtually yours, Andy. <laughs>